Uh, Shireen, thank you for coming our way. Tell us about this, uh, this documentary project. Yeah, for the last three years, um, I've had the privilege to walk alongside uh, a gentleman by the name of Anthony McLean, and he shared his story with me, and uh, we came up with the film called Color Me. Mm -hmm. Now, Color Me, it sounds to me like it uh, would be appropriate for Black History Month, am I right? Yes, um, it, it's great for Black History Month, but I think it's a really engaging story that can be heard and seen all year round. We've actually had the privilege of showing Canadians the film um, in Halifax, and Edmonton, and Montreal, and that was in October and September, so um, it's a relevant topic right throughout the year. And, and the topic essentially is what? Uh, the topic explores identity, and it looks specifically at race and culture and how we perceive ourselves and how we look at other people. And your target audience is young people? Yeah, um, but you know what? We found that it really resonated with adults as well. Uh, so when you say it resonated, you've, you've, you've shown it, as you say, in a few places already. What kind of feedback are you receiving? Well, um, the, the film focuses on Anthony, who's 32 years old, and I think you're going to meet him soon. Yeah. Um, and it also focuses on six young people, and they're in grade 11 and 12. And Anthony mentors these young people, and so um, it shows their lives as well. But what we found is when we showed it to audiences, a lot of people in the audience, whether they're 30, 40, 50, um, they felt like they could relate to the content and they thought back to what it was like growing up. And um, all of us struggle with identity issues when we're growing up. We all want to fit in. We all want to be loved. We all want to be accepted. And so we all try and, and um, adapt to the, the certain groups that we want to be accepted by. So we found that a lot of people said, hey, that's my story. Even though Anthony was talking specifically about his race or his culture, um, we had people from all different cultures and all different backgrounds relate to the content of the film. I was just, as you were saying that, I was wondering uh, what the impact would be or any, any response you might have had yet from uh, Aboriginal viewers. We have not had the privilege yet to show it to an Aboriginal audience, but um, I know for a fact I've had a few workers um, from different social groups that have approached me, and I know for a fact that it's something that um, they would relate to. So we're excited to show it to them at one point. Okay, well, Shireen, this is very interesting. Just before we, uh, we uh, let you go, um, you, you plan to release it uh, in the Toronto area sometime soon in a major venue. Tell us about that. Uh, the Tiff Bell Lightbox has chosen Color Me to be part of its Black History Month programming, and this is quite an honor for us. And so we're going to be showing it on the 14th and on the 18th of February. And uh, it's open to the public, and you can get your tickets online at tiff.net. So uh, if you're interested in coming to see Color Me, it, uh, I promise it'll be a good show. Well, terrific, Shireen. Uh, congratulations. We're going to uh, talk to Anthony and hear more about it, and keep at it. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Bye for now.